Welcome back to IO everyone, I'm your bacon overlord Johnny Rogers and if you happen to be new here we take the most interesting news stories on the internet and then make them more entertaining. So to never miss another exciting story click that subscribe button plus you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, we got them all. Also make sure you stay all the way until the end because that's where I handpick some of your comments and read them out. You're not going to want to miss that. Welcome to 2020 where a single tweet could potentially save Australia from the massive bushfires that are going on right now. Kaylin Ward, better known by her online persona The Naked Philanthropist first tweeted out on January 3rd, I'm sending nudes to every person who donates at least $10 to any one of these fundraisers for the wildfires in Australia. In three days, she estimates that a million dollars has been raised following this call to action. And what an effective call to action that it was. This tweet has over 88,000 retweets and more than 200,000 likes, with Kaylin saying that she isn't even able to keep up now with the amount of charitable receipts that she's getting into her DMs. Now along the way of Kaylin deciding to do this, she was obviously met with a lot of push back, some of which even came from her own family. She tweeted out that a guy that she liked won't talk to her anymore and her own family has disowned her. Although as one person commented, she got naked, so Mother Nature wouldn't have to. Although let's not focus too much on the negative here though, other women have recognized the potential for lending a hand and joined the cause as well. Adult film star Riley Reid posted photos of her hanging out with a koala bear with a caption, I saw firsthand how horrid the Australia fires are. People and animals are dying and losing their homes. Please help spread awareness and donate. Email me proof of donation and I'll send you personal photos and videos. Jenna Lee, who is another figure from that flourishing industry, has also noted to her fans that a minimum donation of $10 to any fundraiser with the Australia bushfire will get a nude from her. Jenna actually began her campaign the day after Ward had posted hers and has since raised close to $40,000. She told the National Post in a statement, we're all real people with good hearts so I just knew that this was going to blow up. <laughs> I mean, you just knew? Come on, dude. I like how I'm calling a porn star, dude. She goes on to say that it was totally in her realm of capabilities, and she thinks that it would be a disservice not to do it. I guess. <laughs> Replying to Jenna's first call to action for the cause was also model Emma Elliott who made a tweet of her own also stating that she was joining in to do her part. If this actually gets solved from nudes, I don't know how the rest of the world is going to feel about it. Uh, imagine if this becomes part of a charity's way to fundraise, like they actually consider reaching out to naked philanthropists to assist in their cause. I mean, hopefully we start to see at least some level of change happening either way. In regards to the bushfires, at least 25 people have have died in these fires since they started in September. The worst part is that it continues to spread with more than 100 fires spreading across New South Wales and Victoria. Perhaps the funniest part though about all of these tweets are the men who are hiding from their wives by creating fake Twitter accounts to send in their confirmations. I mean, we salute you, but like... You gotta be honest, dude. I mean, you can't just like send these receipts through fake accounts. It's like, how, how are we gonna know if it's real? How are we gonna know if it's real? Although, I mean, it would be pretty hilarious to watch if one of these guys got caught doing this. That'd be a great video. It's like, no, baby, I swear, I just really care about the koalas. Funny how no one cared about the koalas when we found out that 100% of them were infected with chlamydia. But the second that we see nudes, it's like, okay, where do I donate? The New York Times also noticed some other women have gotten on board with less notoriety. You know, they're not an adult film star or an influencer. In fact, a woman from Colorado used the name Lana Evans to post a similar tweet after her husband had sent her Kaylin's original tweet. And the anonymous 26 year old after posting this tweet, she received so many donations that she stopped counting after $2,000. So who knows who else is going to get on board and also continue with this effort. Evans even told the Times that she was part of a group of more than 20 women who had all agreed to do the same. In a statement she said, I think it's just motivating normal guys to donate because it's giving them an incentive, you know? Yeah, we know. I mean, this really isn't anything too new when it comes to raising money. For what feels like decades, firefighters have been putting together those kind of scantily clad calendars, I guess you would call them, just to raise money for their fire department. But now the public is taking it into their own hands. Many of the tabloid magazines even immediately started covering this story because it finally gives them a way to present a usually difficult topic to reach people on in an entertaining way. These fires have been a problem for a while, but not until Miss Ward have people really started paying attention. I mean, within a matter of days, Kaylin went from 30,000 followers on Twitter to more than 379,000, although her Instagram was almost immediately deactivated, which they state was due to their policy on users offering nude photos. However, I think it's because they weren't getting any of the cut from this, yet a lot of the traffic was first coming through them. So they could be like, hey, if you're not going to give us a percent, then get out, stay on Twitter, which 
she did and it's working for her. The way that she went about it though as well was quite smart because it wasn't her directly donating this money so it's difficult for the actual charity to trace what made a person donate other than them believing they were just genuinely doing it to help out. Some charities in the past have refused to accept donations raised this way but Miss Ward rejects anyone who thinks her method won't work. In a statement to the New York Times she said to be quite blunt I don't think anyone affected right now is going to be like oh I don't want that money because it came from a girl who was selling their nudes. Either way now that the attention has been heightened hopefully people will be taking a closer look at what's happening in Australia and decide to donate for no reason other than well it's a good thing to do you know help out your fellow human. Human. How about your human? As this story progresses though, we will do our best to keep you in the know. Now with that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Top 10 YouTubers Who've Begged Fans to Stop Visiting Their Houses. Kirsten Owen says, People are crazy. Everywhere. That's why I stay away from them as much as I can. That's probably for the best. Ali Saunders says, No one should have to deal with this, no matter who they are. This is really what security systems were made for. I mean, no one at all should ever have the fear of random people just showing up at their house. Unless you ordered a pizza, then that's on you. Batman Likes Pizza says, It's sad that this is even a list. It's sad to find out like this that Batman likes pizza. But yeah, that's also ridiculous that this happened so much we had to put it together in a list. There might even be a part two. Aiko says, My New Year's resolution is to be more honest. I actually like Johnny better than Jared. Totally not saying this to be featured. Hey, there's your feature. I love your honesty and I'll make sure to let Jared know. Andrea Ha says, My son's new nickname is officially the Bacon Overlord. Hope you don't mind sharing. I don't mind at all. If anything, I'm honored. Please name your kids after me, not Jared. Thank you for watching Inform Overload. And if you enjoyed this video, then show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you give us a follow on Instagram for tons of behind the scenes content. Links for that will be in the description below. Plus, while you're there, why don't you leave us a comment with your thoughts on this story. And for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is click that playlist when it pops up on your screen. From IO, my name is Johnny Rogers. Until next time, stay classy. A ton of them. I ah, welcome back, Johnny. Time for more ups. Trying to improv too much here. Such a long, long run on sentence, no air.